All right, beautiful day here after work, Saturday. Whitecaps game going on for all the Whitecaps fans. They're just going crazy. I don't get it, but I won't get into that right now. Just heading out on a day date. Finally get to go out during the daytime and enjoy the sun. And I got, look at this, two snails staring at me right here. A snail, a snail. Just climbing walls and stuff. Um, so she is bringing me a smoothie, so that's awesome, thank you. And uh, I don't know what we're doing yet, so kind of excited to see what we get up to. There's a tiny house function going on right now. I think it's sold out, she said though. So I had her look into it. We might go to a movie later, but it is like really nice out, so we might just like enjoy the sun. I'm uh, gonna be riding to Deep Cove tomorrow with Clint, the owner of the bike shop here. And then I'm gonna be going for another bike ride after that. Um, so it'd be like a good 80, 90 kilometer day if I do both of those. Why is my face all powdery? Anyway, <laughs> that was weird. Um, and tomorrow is a big riding day, so just a little bit of walking today, nothing too serious, lots of eating, getting ready for that, getting the blood sugar filled and glycogen up, and uh, we'll be good to go for the ride tomorrow. I'm super excited to see how Clint rides. Apparently, he likes to spin as well. And then the homie Max is out of town, he's in Oregon. So I'm going to see him when he gets back. We'll go for another ride. Maybe I'll take the GoPro along and peace out. Bikes everywhere. Tiny shed houses. Plus it's like a lot smaller than I expected. Space was like really, really, what's the word I'm looking for? Exponential. No, I don't know. When you first get in there, you feel like you're gonna hit your head while you walk, or while you walk backwards. When you lay sideways, so I actually laid both ways, and me being six foot two, I was able to sit up in both directions. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't hit my head facing both directions, and that one Chinese woman was like really concerned and thought only a dog could could live in the small in the space but I'm six foot two no problem didn't have a bathroom which is an issue I think if you're gonna be living in something like that but if you lived in the right place or like in the bush I guess you could just go outside right and that's it
Look at the bites that you made. It's like the <laughs> crazy. Oh, Jack and the beast. I kept slapping the hole. Went to the park to get the scoop. Knucklehead.